So yeah, now that I've actually learned to use this LX draw properly and configure it properly, it's actually quite a competent little laser engraver. So I'm going to build a fume hood for this. Okay, you're joining me part way through a project here, actually. I didn't bother documenting the first bit of this because it was really boring. Essentially what I've done, I've got four pieces of wood and nailed them together and glued here and then painted it up and then four smaller pieces of wood the same length to make a little top. Then I've painted it with just matte black um, <laughs> ready mixed acrylic poster paint. Now, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to get very much handling, so it doesn't matter if this wears a little bit. The reason for painting it matte black was that if we get any uh, sort of overshine or reflection from the laser, it won't bounce off too many surfaces. So what we're going to do is hinge this top part here so it's a lid. We will fit a piece of orange transparent acrylic which will prevent most of the dangerous laser light from coming out if it should get reflected. We'll fit a little piece of ply or something at the back there to fill in that gap. And then we're going to make an extraction system. I'm going to use just a PC just a CPU fan and I'm going to build a housing for this that fits on the side, extracts the smoke. It only needs to create a small amount of airflow through and it will extract the smoke and blow it down a vacuum cleaner hose that I've got left over from a broken vacuum. And I'll put that out the window in my workshop and then we can do laser engraving without filling the house with smoke. Okay, so we're going to test this out. I've got, I had to add another fan here on the inside because it seems like these little CPU fans are not quite enough to push the air through the tube. So we've got two fans blowing in the same direction. I've sealed up all the little gaps around the outside part there. I've sealed up around here with hot glue. And so now when we turn it on, 
Let's just have a look and see what the fan looks like when it's running. Yeah, we've got two different colour LEDs. We had a green one on the on the back side and a red one here. I, I just picked these up second hand. I actually picked up three of them, so I suspect the third one is probably blue. Anyway, we're going to try this out. So, fan on, lid down, and then start. Okay, well I'm going to leave that for a moment just for the smoke to finish clearing out of the box. But I can't smell any smoke here in the room, so I think that's probably been a success. I just get, I caught a little waft of it. I think it's probably blowing back in through the window, but never mind. I'll probably have to make a baffle plate or something like that for the window to uh, exclude it if I want to operate this on a windy day. So there we go. Let's open that up and see if that has done the job. It looks like it has. Let's just turn off that fan. And there we go. So we've laser engraved something and we haven't filled the room with smoke. So that's a success as far as I'm concerned. So expect to see some more projects using this laser engraver coming soon. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.